Hi, I am Dr. K. G. Rao, a professor of anesthesia from Lucknow and I have come here for the treatment of my wife in Aster CMI, Bangalore. My wife suffered from Parkinson's condition called as Parkinson's and she had been suffering this for the last 10 years. When we realized that only medication was not going to help, we found out that deep brain stimulation surgery, which is the ultimate and the most modern method of treating Parkinson's, is regularly being done in Aster CMI. On inquiry through my daughter who lives here in Nandi Hills, we found out that yes, it is going on here very regularly and once we sent our reports through her to the concerned doctors, we found that my wife was eligible for this particular surgery. Let me tell you that all patients are not eligible for this particular surgery because a certain drug if they are taking then only they can be benefited out of this surgery. Deep brain st stimulation is a very very sophisticated surgery which has only become popular in the last couple of years. Came here in the month of February, sought an appointment with Dr. Ravi Gopal Verma, the chief neurosurgeon and Dr. Anuradha who is the physician, uh, neurophysician in charge and we were then put through a series of tests, the main being Sindopa challenge test. My wife at that point of time was taking a very high dose of Sindopa which is the primary medicine for this condition and she was asked to firstly go on a regulated regime as prescribed by Dr. Anuradha for 10 days and report back again. When we came back on 24th of February, the next day she was given a Sindopa challenge which according to the neurophysician and neurosurgeon, she passed properly and was therefore destined to be operated for the deep brain stimulation. My wife and I came back here on 1st of March, got admitted and to our great amazement, the hospital, we were initially only seen the hospital on the ground floor, but when we were taken to the fifth floor, the inpatient, we were amazed to see the high standard of cleanliness, the aesthetic design of the hospital and the perfect service provided to the patient. My wife was operated on 2nd of March. The surgery lasted almost 7 hours and thereafter she was shifted to the neuro ICU for a day's observation. On 5th, while uh, she was undergoing recovery, on 5th we noticed there were certain changes which were not conducive to the progress of the surgery operation and therefore the doctors have been watching her regularly but on 5th itself it was decided that she should be taken to the neuro ICU one more time. It was found out that she had developed a bleed post-operatively in her brain which had caused her to have epileptic attacks, seizures. Thereafter, she was kept in the neuro ICU for a period of 16 days of which 14 days she was on ventilator with explicit purpose of keeping her in a very quiet state. She was kept on a life support system and her brain was kept absolutely quiet by use of 
anti-epileptic drugs and sedatives in very high doses. I used to visit them every day at the visiting hours. I was allowed to meet the ICU doctors in charge. They would talk to me about her progress and I have to give them all the credit for having pulled out my wife from the very edge of death. After 16 days of strenuous uh, care, finally her tube was withdrawn. She began to breathe on her own and gradually her senses began to return. Yes, our hospital stay got certainly prolonged by about four weeks. But in this period, the second part of surgery was later on performed on the 2nd April, wherein a battery was placed and the wires were energized. And then we saw the main benefit of this surgery. The medication that I had been giving her prior to surgery got reduced by more than 50%. And the kind of side effects that were present with the medication literally disappeared. Today we are going home and because we would need to be visiting the doctors for calibration and fine tuning of the systems, the battery uh, current systems that would require our frequent visits. We shall be staying in Bangalore city and visiting them weekly or fortnightly. Here I would like to place on record that during the difficult times and thereafter the doctors, the nurses, the hospital support staff had been very courteous, very efficiently managing my wife's condition and they literally danced to the tunes of whatever I wanted to ask them. Sometimes it could have been something that they were not expected to do, but they did it for us and for which I would like to express my gratitude to this management. I had not expected a hospital to be this good with high class cleanliness, all systems in place, there are uh, cross checks and balances, there are staff especially deputed to ensure that whatever orders are being ex given are executed properly and to the satisfaction of the patient. These are the sure hallmarks of a success of a hospital and its future progress. Thank you.